Turning now to the We Charity controversy, the organization's founders, brothers Craig and Mark Kielberger, are set to appear before the House of Commons Ethics Committee. As David Aiken reports, opposition MPs say they still don't have a complete picture of the ties between We and the Prime Minister's family. Virtually very limited engagement with the federal government. Uh, seeking funds. The WE Charity controversy is almost as old as the pandemic itself. Last spring, when the Trudeau government wanted to hand out $900 million worth of grants to help students, it turned to WE, an organization which had long been a favorite of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and members of his family, who would often appear at the rock concert-like events staged by charity founders Craig and Mark Kielberger. But then it emerged that the Trudeau government had tapped the WE charity without a competitive tendering process. That WE, then in financial trouble itself, would be paid millions to run the program. And that Trudeau's wife, mother and brother had all been paid hundreds of thousands of dollars by WE over the years to appear at WE events. The Trudeau government dropped WE from running the student grant program, but the opposition has been howling about liberal self-dealing and corruption ever since. The, the deep connections that the Kielbergers had to Justin Trudeau, to his family, and how they were able to walk in, uh, basically, you know, they had the all-access pass, and government shouldn't be operating that way. What we see here is an example of the poor judgment that the Prime Minister has exercised. At first, the Kielbergers rejected the summons by the Commons Ethics Committee, but after an extraordinary exchange of demands and counter-demands, the brothers, accompanied by their lawyer, agreed to testify. So we have a duty to scrutinize, you know, the concerning allegations about uh, the WE organization misleading donors and volunteers and students and charitable groups. This goes back to that piece about the vetting and did the Prime Minister, did members of his cabinet, did, uh, did PCO know about these allegations? This is a charity. We've had to issue four legal summons in order to get the key uh, leaders in this charity that works in all our schools to testify. I want to know what is with that. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.